This is a story about how a foolish rookie learned to improve his focus and turned his life around. Long ago, before Cajun Koi, a young student ventured off to a distant planet at the edge of the galaxy. The legend told of a master ranger who lived there, and like many young chads in training, he sought to acquire great power. After a graceful landing on the planet's surface, the student made his presence known and awaited the master to reveal himself so they could begin training. The trees whistled and the bees buzzed as he sat and waited and waited for almost an hour before he realized that his master could be anywhere on this freaking planet. After all, he'd only heard tales of this great ranger. It's not like they were on texting basis. So he jumped to his feet and set off on a search. Shockingly, the master was just on the other side of the bushes, tending to his toes. Excited, he scrambled to pull out his notebook and proceeded to ask the master all the secrets about becoming a great ranger. What was his morning routine? Did he take cold showers? Which probiotics does he recommend? But before he could finish his next sentence, the master vanished. You see, the master had no patience for such a scatterbrained child who clearly had no idea what it takes to become a ranger, let alone regard for personal boundaries. And no, he doesn't take cold showers, in case you're wondering. At that moment, he was doomed and forsaken on this distant planet. His ship was in shambles, his stomach growling, his patience dwindling. Fear began to overtake him as he imagined all the gruesome ways the planet would consume him. With no one to turn to but himself, he realized that he had no choice but to train in order to survive. A year had passed. The master was taking a hike for his annual toe cleaning when he stumbled upon something miraculous. He saw the student sitting in the exact same spot he had left him a year ago. But his aura was teeming with life, as if his environment were showered by his abundant and radiating energy. In all his years, the master had never seen focus of this magnitude, especially from a rookie who had yet to tap into his true focus potential. The rookie asked the master one more time to train him, and he answered. I used to be like you always chasing knowledge and power. My journey also took me far beyond the stars, only to find that life's greatest wealth had been right in front of my nose the entire time. Well, actually, right behind my nose. I'm talking about the mind, more complex than any faculty in the universe. The mind has the power to focus an extraordinary amount of energy, and it appears that you have discovered that power. To become a ranger, there are no secrets. The only thing you need is focus. A strong mind with unbreakable focus can achieve anything. To become a ranger, you must understand the three rules of focus. Rule number one. Focus is a state. We can be in focus or out of focus. It all depends on your state of mind. What strengthens your focus is a confident mind, proficiency, mental clarity, gratitude, and optimism. What weakens your focus is a mind full of self-doubt, anger, anxiety, distraction, and cynicism. You can't be in focus all the time. You'd generate massive power, but it would kill you. You need to take breaks. You need to sleep. You need to let go of thoughts and beliefs that don't serve you. Rule number two, focus is an energy. We can accumulate focus, we can spend it, and even transfer it. We can generate focus with cognitive processing, like studying, researching, critical thinking, and meditating. When we have too much focus, we can lend it to others or transfer it to objects. The focus band is the weapon of choice for a ranger. Use it to concentrate your focus energy in the palm of your hand and master your surroundings. Rule number three, focus is a gift. 
All humans are born with different predispositions to focus, but only a ranger can truly unlock the potential for boundless focus energy. A ranger can come from anywhere, but not anyone can become a ranger. And that is why we must be grateful for the gift of focus. We mustn't squander it or use it with ill intent. You have been chosen. The master taught everything he knew. The training was tedious and rigorous, but after four long years of nothing but focus, I finally became a ranger. And it was time for me to go on my own journey and use what I'd learned to make a difference.